What about um, tidal energy? Does that provide some sort of core energy supply? Will that, will that end up replacing coal and gas, which is the ultimate aim, I suppose? Do you see that as being... Yeah. I mean, I think what's interesting with tidal, I think there are a couple of tidal technologies. There's something called tidal stream, which is like an upside down wind turbine where you've got big um, tidal currents. Yeah. Um, and that's, there's a reasonable potential for that, um, but there aren't very many places you can put them in the UK. Um, the other one is tidal range where you, like a lagoon, where you basically, it's almost like a mini dam. It's like a small yeah. hydro plant, yeah. but in the sea. Um, and then you dam the water and then let it out through a tidal um, piece. And I think um, what we've seen is that those technologies have been a bit threatening to the existing technologies. So they've been slightly kept out of the mix to date. Yeah. I mean, I would hope to see those technologies come in. I think we can produce about 10% of our electrical needs from tidal, tidal range alone in the UK. Yeah. Um, and it also has some flexibility in it. So you can use it like a pump storage and you can turn it up and turn it down. Yeah, there, there are a, a number of small scale success stories there, I mm -hmm. think, aren't there? I, mean, I think the Orkney Islands are entirely yeah. generate their own renewables. I, I think, is some of that from Tidal or is it um, there used wind? To be, there used to be, I think there was a wave technology out there called the limpet, which was, which was basically stuck on a rock and it would move in and out All of right. the rock like that. Mm. Um, but there, and there's been some Tidal, as I said, there's been some Tidal um, uh, stream technologies that have been deployed. There's, there's not been a range at any scale deployed to, the, to, to my knowledge in the UK. What about geothermal? So geothermal, we have one of the largest low-grade geothermal supplies in the UK, particularly in the southwest. Oh. Um, so if you dig down, I think Cornwall, in Cornwall, the Eden Project's looking at doing, is it a two-kilometer drill, which is going to create a 10-megawatt power station? Um, but, but then you've got um, the potential geothermal for heating. So you've got, um, you've got ground source heat pumps and uh, ground source heat pumps, where yeah. it's the way you're essentially taking heat out of the ground um, and converting them into heat into people's homes through an electrical process. It seems like there's a, a combination of possibilities that we need yeah. to look at and to get them all manoeuvred at the same kind of time yeah. in order to solve this problem. Completely. Yeah. 